for a few teas, the hungry ferret. Hi everybody. So today I have the extreme guard, screen protector, and also the full body protection. This is not the Spartan. This is a soft, flexible material. This screen protector is not scratch proof, but it is scratch resistant. When you order these protectors, they all come in this little pouch. So let's take a look inside. You first have the directions. So the first piece is just the screen protection. The second piece is also the screen protection. The third piece is part of the full body kit which protects the back of the phone. When you purchase the full body protection, it includes this kit. The kit includes a squeegee, wet dry wipes, and also a microfiber cloth. So the first step is to create the insulation solution. I mix the drop of dishwashing liquid with one cup of cold water on a plate. So the next step is to actually prepare the device. I used my own screen cleaner and I carefully buffed the phone. I tried to make sure there's as little dust as possible. I even used a piece of masking tape to capture the remaining dust particles. So the next step is to dip your fingers in water, peel the protector from the adhesive backing, and then dip the protector in the water. Once you have the protector fully wet, you can place it on the phone. Since the S7 is waterproof, you don't have to worry about liquids. Since we're using the wet insulation method, we could position the film easily. Once you're comfortable how it's positioned, use the squeegees and start squeegeeing out the water. I also noticed that your fingers do a pretty good job of squeezing the water out. For the next 10 minutes, I continue to buff, squeegee, and rub the film. The overall goal is to remove as much air and water from underneath the film as possible. You also want to make sure that you get as much of the film to adhere to the surface as possible. This may require you to buff the phone for some time. When you're happy with your work, you need to allow the film to dry. So next, we're going to do the Go phone. On the Go phone, we're going to do the full body. Again, the directions are similar. Prepare the surface of the device, peel the film off the backing, and then place on the phone. This time around, I noticed something was wrong. The film was very stiff and was not able to conform to the edges. I found out I did not peel the film off the backing. It actually separated in half in a second layer. So what do you gotta do it again is to just peel it off again and try again. Dip the film in the water and then position.
Once you have positioning, the directions are exactly the same. Squeegee, buff, and dry. Now it's time to do the second side. The directions are pretty much the same. Prepare the surface with wipes, masking tape, dip your fingers on water, peel the film, dip the film, position, squeegee and wipe. The back of the phone was much easier to do, since it's flat. So let's take a look at how these phones look after a couple of minutes of drawing. I want to point out that this film is not scratch proof, it's scratch resistant. I accidentally scratched the film with the squeegee. You can see up close the scratch marks. Also, you see that there's still a lot of bubbles after a couple of minutes of drying. The directions recommend to let it dry for a couple of days. The Go phone is not as dry. You can see a large number of bubbles. So this is normal. You can also see some of the scratches from the squeegee. Next time, I would recommend to have the film over the top while you're squeegeeing. This should reduce the chance of scratching the film. I did some final prep work here. I used a squeegee and squeegeed out more water. So this is what it looks like after a week. You see on the Go phone, the film looks pretty good. There's a slight rubbery texture to it. When your hand is wet, it does have a little problem sliding back and forth. So the Go phone, I did a pretty good job. I let her dry overnight before touching it. This is uh, what I believe to be the key. On the black phone, I was a little impatient and I popped it into the case. Now. You see over here, the corners of the case has lifted the film up. This is because I was using the phone right away. On a side note, dirt does get trapped a little on the edges. So just be aware of that. I'm definitely going to have to reduce this eventually. I also have some scratches in the front. Now, when the phone's on, you don't see the scratches. The only time you see the scratches are when the phone's off. And it's because it's like a mirror surface. So again, the tips are basically let it dry, and be careful about squeegeeing. Use protection to prevent scratches. Overall, I like this film. The film makes the phone easy to grip. Also, it protects the phone from minor scratches. Once dried, it seems to be fairly tough and is able to take on scratches without really much of a problem. The material also handles fingerprints very well. Most of the time, I do not have to clean off the phone versus a glass-like material like the Spartan. The phone is active and is reactive to touch with the film on. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.